Now from there we can move on to the wall. It's a challenging colour to mix that because it's grey but it's not grey. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blue in that. I'm going to use Windsor blue and neutral tint and quite a lot of water. That's not a hundred miles off it. You see once you have a colour if it looks too dark by adding water you can take the colour down quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Let me give you another brush and do the pillar. I'll just guide you through that. If you just block in the pillar right across to the far side. Is that all right to go do yeah. that? Am I being too... No, you're fine. You're getting confident. Too uh, bold with this. Come into the water and thin that down slightly. Just a tiny little bit, take the excess off. That's it, and off you go again. Right, George, we're just about to move on now and do this little grass bank on the far side of that shed. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to be very careful here because we need to cut out around the white of the shed. Yeah. Now, this is the number five brush with a mixture of Windsor yellow, a tiny bit of Windsor blue, and a little bit of light red, just to give a light green. Get rid of most of the paint first of all, and then you can start working down along the side of the house. You know, just sort of daubing on with the, with the brush. Come down around that pencil line there as well. Right in here? Yeah. Because that bush there is going to be in shadow where this one here is in sunlight. So mm -hmm. there's going to be a difference in the colour. But what I want to do now, George, is show you how to put some uh, texture into that and shadows within that green itself. Uh -huh. So I'm mixing up here a bit more Windsor blue and light red into that mixture that we already have. And just put a little bit of darkness in there. Like, while that's wet, the other colour will bleed through it. And it just gives a bit of change in texture there. And the darkness around the house makes the house stand out even more. Mm -hmm. In fact, what I think you should do is put a, a more yellow colour up towards the top there. So along the top of that bush there, just keep that nice and bright. I've always imagined that the painting process is a bit like the, the music business, you know, where you're layering colour on colour. Mm -hmm. And, you know, from what I know about music, which is very little, it seems to be that there's a lot of tracks being laid down in different layers. Usually when, um, when we go in to record, we'll go in with a small number of musicians and uh, would maybe have a bass and the drums and a guitar player. And you do your vocals and uh, then come back in the next day and think what, decide what you want to add to it. As you say, la sort of layer it, you know, you bring in other musical colors. George, now that we have most of the greenery in on the right hand side of the painting, we can come back to the house and concentrate on the window panes themselves. Mm -hmm. Now if you look there you can see that the window pane is a clear piece of glass, but what we're seeing through the glass is the darkness in the room beyond. So the colour that I've mixed there is uh, light red and ultramarine. And this just gives me a very dark colour. Now this is a number five brush that's pretty well worn. <laughs> so it actually does a good job here for us. You see the, the flat top on it? Uh -huh. If I pull that down in one stroke, I can get a window pane. Uh -huh. you see that? The flat edge goes along the frame and just pull across like that. So if you want to take that and do the two panes Below underneath, it? yeah. Okay. Just turn it on the side, George. On the side a yeah, little bit? Yeah, it'll be wider. Get a little flatter. Yeah. Flatter brush. This is real tricky here, isn't it? Yeah. Because it'd be so easy to mess it up I guess. I know they're tricky little bits you know and it takes a wee bit of practice with that brush just to be able to get one stroke. Now you can see that around the window there's a little frame, a brown frame. And That's a brown... scary for me, that is <laughs> so thin, a little thin uh, brown line. Well again just with that brush there we can thin out the point slightly. Mm -hmm. This is a mixture of burnt sienna with some neutral tint and the neutral tint just gives the burnt sienna a nice rich brown colour. Now I'll do this one here for you couple of practice runs first. Mm -hmm. There we go, look. Very light ones. So. Yeah. It's unusual the way you have a little frame around the white mm -hmm. window frame. And then there's the window sill. In the old days they used to use the window sill, which would have been sandstone, mm -hmm. outside the kitchen to sharpen the knives. Is that right? Yeah. I never knew that. Now the same thing to, has to be done now with the door frame. Uh -huh. So you can see that that is a, quite a dark door frame but it's burnt sienna and neutral tint. There's a wee bit of white in the interior look you see just in the rim mm -hmm. around that. 
on that, and then we can pull in a few, a few boards on the door. Like. George, you know, I think it's near finished. Are you happy with it? I certainly am. I'm very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, you've got this little red roof in in the background, and I think red just complements the green very, very well. But I think it looks a little bit flat, and we need to put in some of those shadows. You see the shadows on the road cast by the, the house at this time of the day? I'd have never thought of that, you know. <laughs> it, it, it's, they're there, though, aren't they? Yeah, and it's that that can give a lot of life to the painting, just as a finishing touch. Now, I know, George, this may look a bit scary, but with a mixture of French ultramarine and some light red, I'm just going to put a wash on over that entire house. Oh, so it's scary when you do that. <laughs> it looks like it's going to damage it yeah. somehow. But I want you to take that brush and just more or less block in that area. Go around the windows, and I'll use the number eight then. All around them? Yeah. I'm just going to use the number eight. And how about this here? Is that, That's not going to run, is no, it? No, I'll take some of that. Okay. And you can see that these bushes here are catching sunlight on the left hand side. So I want to put some shadow here and along the wall. So let mm. me load that brush again. All right. And you can start there and block in that wall. But don't put any shadow on the top of the wall because it okay. has a lot of sunlight on it. All right. And that brings us down now to the roadway. Get that area covered in as quickly as you can. But don't go over the pencil lines that we have for the shadow. Okay. There's a bit of sunlight coming out there along that entrance to the back of the house. Is that okay out yeah, there? Yeah, fill away. You see? You're it's sort of a little dingle peninsula out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you see how that shadow has given a real depth to that yeah. now? That's enough. Are you happy with it? I'm very surprised, <laughs> very pleased and uh, surprised and grateful to you because I feel like I've, I've had an education today and a lot of encouragement. Well, there you are, George. I can't wait until I go to Nashville and do a few of your local scenes. Well, that would suit me fine. I'd like to take you backstage at the Grand Ole Opry and uh, show you around, introduce you to some of the hillbillies like myself. I'd look forward to that. We could maybe paint the Grand Old Opry. Absolutely. <laughs> George, all you've left to do now is sign it. Okie doke. So down here on the right hand side. All righty. Okie doke. The fourth. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Father of the fifth. <laughs> Grandfather of the sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. George, it has been a pleasure. Well, as we say in Tennessee, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> There'll be more from the Dingle Peninsula next time on A Voice with Colour when my guest will be television presenter John Craven. But for now, I'm off to explore more of this area's breathtaking scenery in search of other painting locations, which, let's face it, shouldn't be difficult. <laughs>